Welcome to this Let's Play where we are looking at the campus DLC for City Skylines. In this part, what I want to do is work on this area here, get my new city building out quite nicely. You can see we're up to near just over 73,000 population. Hopefully we will reach the 75,000 megalopolis in this part. But, I've, but before that, guys, I want to give you guys a little bit of an update over here. I was zoning in lots of high tech industry and it didn't work. I was getting lots and lots of where it said not um, not, not enough um, goods being bought and these were going abandoned. So what I've actually done is I've changed this area and we've now got Beechwood Hills here, which is actually a leisure area and we've got a bit of demand for industry. So what I'm kind of half tempted to do is just put uh, sneak in a little bit of extra normal office stuff along here. It's back on the back of here just to suck up the the demand for the um, industry over here at the end of the video I said I was going to build an ore processing plant here because I put this ore refinery in need of metals so what I've done is I've now put this area in here and we've got some ore grinding stuff which is juicing the metals to come into here and I'm hoping that this will level up to uh, level two so we can start getting some glass manufacturing in here and um, I've got a little bit of a problem here with a potential traffic problem now one thing you've got to be a little bit careful about when you upgrade this area here I could go all out and upgrade this to a highway but the problem with that is that if I do that I'll probably start bringing in a lot more traffic into this area which could then cause congestion. So I'm a bit reluctant just to go for some wholesale upgrading at the moment. I'm quite, I mean, the traffic is flowing at the moment. What we do have in is a little bit of a congestion in the center, here, but I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. We've still got 89% and it does fluctuate a little bit. I'm kind of a little bit tempted to put maybe an exit road here. Oops, oh, two way. And then I'm kind of tempted is to just slick on a little bit of an exit road there and maybe another one here. And the idea is that traffic that wants to leave this area and then like these trucks now, see, they will be drawn onto the highway here. And then that will draw there. The trouble is that there's always a risk that traffic from here now will all start to be drawn in this direction which would actually aggravate the problem this is one thing you've got to be a bit careful of when you lay out new road systems is that, that problem there i'm actually quite i've just noticed here actually let me just uh i'm going to try and, and i'm going to just come over here and i think what i'm going to do is just knock off that and come in here with the city may benefit from a little bit of traffic flow uh, pedestrians being able to walk across here into here because one of the problems with highways is that when you put uh, highways in residents can't actually walk over them so I think we'll, we'll do the same here I'm just gonna drop that down whoops nope yep, that's better finger slipped on the button and what that would do is just let that build through and sometimes bigger is not better in this game if you if you start putting bigger faster roads in all it does is pull more traffic and the key to managing traffic in city skylines is avoid anywhere where you start to build a queue and oops we've now reached 75,000 here yeah what you need to do is avoid any queues if you see any any tailbacks or queues starting to build up and you can normally spot them by doing this that's the warning sign you need to do i mean red where it's flowing is great it's not there's not a problem but i need to see that there's a beginning of a queue here which is could be a problem but at the same time it is moving with the trucks the trucks are moving around here when we got this recycling center I think what we're going to do is just pick you up actually just move you over there 
move you away from there. And I think what we will do is just connect you through there. So you're not doubling back there. Any trucks in here that want to leave the city can come through and actually just upgrade that to uh, actually just put you to one way, I think. I don't want this to be too tightly built in so you can see that we can now pull these trucks off this way and we can still have the trucks coming in this way so I think that will work and we've got a little bit of what we've got here what are you short of not operate not enough special goods we're not getting enough plastic so we running short of plastics uh, I'm very reluctant to start putting in some more plastics capacity. If they've got capacity, it could be just a disruption of the supply process. Looks like something big has just happened here. Everyone's leveling up quite nicely. Yeah, it was just waiting for a delivery. So things are looking good there. And while I'm actually flitting across the city, a uh, big thank you guys for your feedback on roundabouts. And I think you need a little bit of an explanation of roundabouts because I've I got a feeling from you guys who live in the same countries that don't use the roundabouts like we do in the UK. I think you visualise roundabouts like this. Big roundabouts, highways, big interchanges. Well, sadly to disappoint you guys, that the vast majority of roundabouts in the UK are very tiny. And I mean tiny. They're very tiny and very compact and they're often squeezed on junctions like this. I mean, I couldn't really make a, uh, a roundabout small enough in City Skylands. I think also this is ever just try. I can't remember. I've never really tried to. I think the smallest roundabout you can actually build is about 60, isn't it? Although I think there is a mod where you can. Let's see if we can. Let's just put this back on. So. Worst. Actually, that's 80. Let's just change it. I'm not sure. So. I think we might better get one away with 60 with a single road. Do this just no. Yeah. I'm just gonna do the draw this for you guys just so that you get an idea of what and the vast majority of UK oh and we've now got Cedar Pit. See the pit has now leveled up on all. And this is very much the way a UK roundabouts look like. There are normally intersections with two way roads because again, if you, you guys live in countries where they actually people actually build wide roads, uh, it, I need to explain that most UK cities ha tend to have road systems like this, but not neat little grids of things. Gridding is something which has completely escaped town planners in this country. It's very rare to find any really gridded city like this. Um, most of our cities tend to be very erratic, even modern cities, even cities like Milton Keynes and other new towns. They, they, I, I just don't think that town planners in the UK ever, ever got their head around the concept of gridding. The only place you will see gridding is in industrial parks, but outside that, you know, and this is quite the common roundabout in this country. You have these very small roundabouts. In fact, they're even smaller than this. The roads are almost touching, but this is the smallest I can make in the city skylines with two ways roads coming in. And there's also another construct. Let me just delete this, because, which I absolutely detest. And these go under the name of mini roundabouts. I, where I live, there's about four, I think five very close by. And what mini roundabouts are, say if we can find a busy junction, let me just see if I can find a busy junction. Because this is what drives it. So if I get, um, yeah, so we've got a busy junction here, right? And you can see that the, it's busy and the traffic's kind of flowing, but you get people obstructing it like this. So what happens if you get a busy crossroads like this, and, and in the past they put traffic lights, what they tend to do now is they have this thing called a mini roundabout. Now, a mini roundabout is quite literally a, a cross-junction. So they don't actually change the road. 
very much. Sometimes they will knock the corners back a little bit to give a bit more manoeuvring. And they come along and they put a sign up and it just says, and it's like a blue circle with white, a circle of white arrows in it. And normal quaff above it says mini roundabout and you have mini roundabout. And then what they literally do is paint a white circle in the center of the junction. Then all these roads coming in, all the roads coming in have yield lines on them. And the way it works is that say, say for example, like these trucks coming up here, you have to yield to the right. So if you're coming up there and someone's coming out that way, you've got to stop. But then what happens then is because you stop, these people can go. So what happens is you get this rotation, but nobody has priority on the road. And they, they put them in for two reasons. One, to break the speed of the traffic in busy areas. You quite, will quite often find them near areas where there's high concentrations of pedestrians. And they've decided that the, the traffic on the road is too fast. So they've been put in mini roundabouts to slow the traffic up. And they also put them in, in junctions like this where are busy, where you may get a lot of traffic coming from all different directions. So rather than having a through road and then people queuing up on the side roads, they whack a mini roundabout down. And sometimes you do get a variation where in the centre you will get a bump in the road, which is about kind of 12 inches high and it's about six feet in diameter, which cars have to drive round. But it means trucks and buses can just drive straight over the centre of them because they can't get round the tight corners. So that's how mini roundabouts work in this country, guys. And I absolutely detest them because you're, you're quite happily driving along what should be a nice plain straight road. And then suddenly you come up against the mini roundabout. You've got to slow down. You've got to pay attention all around. True, it makes the road safer, but they're just so irritating. And, and sometimes they just seem to have no real reason to them at all. Not enough natural resources. So, so we're, we're actually getting a bit of a, a shortage of... What natural resources do you need then? Okay, the production then. Freight trucks five. So you're I'm a bit not too sure what you actually need in the way of resources. You don't need as far as I know there's no fertilizer in the game. Freight trucks in use. Okay. Operates is operating normally, not enough natural resources. I think that could be a bit of a quirk in the game. Um, before we get back, sorry I'm not getting into this area here, I'm getting, keep getting distracted. What I do want to do is get in these big buildings here. Of course we've also unlocked monuments, so I'm going to talk a little bit about monuments in a little while. And I'm kind of thinking, modular house, fact. wow that's big. I've got that hook. We put now as far as I know this needs plain timber, plastics, glass and metal. So we need to put some glass manufacturing in here. So I think what we can do is put you here. I don't know how big the glass manufacturing is gonna be. Glass manufacturing. Okay, we can put let's get a couple of these in, put one here as well. And that should then feed this area here. And we got plastics from this area here. Actually, how's the oil storage? We're not getting that much oil in here. Well, that might account for why the plastics is a bit low. Kind of thinking about maybe if we drop some more oil storage is so here here large group maybe no, a bit reluctant to put an oil storage there but if I put one now I mean I can always move it I mean that's on the road through here so an oil truck could come in here deliver and then just pull out and maybe what we'll do is let me relocate you somewhere else and then put in uh, oil waste refining. And then can we get put another petrochemical plant in there for some plastics? I think that might work. I mean, it may give me a little bit of a problem with deliveries, but 
Well, we'll see how it goes. If the traffic gets too bad, then I will, I will fix that. And the other building we've got here, unique building, is the lemonade factory. Where is it? So this is glass and food. And I could put the lemonade factory out here. Because if I put it over here, it's very tempting. That's going to pull even more traffic into this area. I think I'd rather have the lemonade factory over here. I'm just going to drop that out here. I mean, that's a bit. And what we can do is pull the food. Yeah. So we've got crops and glass. The glass can come in quite quickly. Of course, we don't have any water here, so. 40 and I'm just gonna pull that out there and pull you out like that and I suppose what we could do is maybe there now I don't I'm kind of half thinking maybe if we put some little bit of offices along here just to fill that gap in there and Maybe we can, and I know I'm getting distracted again, guys. Sorry about that. Just kind of, um, gonna do a bit of UK town planning. Like that. And I think we can, like literally, crack in some offices through here. This, that won't put, too much pressure on this area here mm, maybe if I put I'd sneak a road through here like that and we can just check the zoning yeah the zoning's good through here pull you back a little bit like that and then what we can do is slip some a little bit more residential in here to support the, the offices we like that just check the water situation of course and um, you know, cover that like that and then that should suck up a little bit of the demand in this area mm. okay let's finally start to do some work on here I've, I've been looking at this and Again, I've, I've got resident commercial over there. I think the commercial is a little bit too far away. So what I'm thinking, guys, is maybe pumping a little bit of commercial over this side of the city. I'm going to start putting in some commercial here like that. And But again, we're just going to create a sound barrier here with some offices here here and through like that and then that means that what we can do then is but then we, um, because we don't no one wants to live next to a noisy metro station so I'll drop that in like that and actually let's just put in this area here and I'm not sure why we got that little road there so just stick that off of course we got a power problem I think I can fix that with my usual and that will push up the traffic here and then what we're going to do is throw the residential area out like that and, and again because this is up against the railway line we can just and we've got water problems okay And so the idea is that we we'll have a little commercial area here. Now there, there is a potential traffic problem. So what I'm going to do is put in the traffic zone here, like that, and we are going to zone this to uh, heavy traffic ban. 
and Old Town. What that will mean is that if I accidentally create a road connection here, there will be no uh, rat run developing here. So traffic will have to come in here to deliver over this. In fact, this is a mistake. What we're going to do is come through here like that. We're going to affect the you just in here and what we're going to do is change that to all these new um commercial buildings are all gonna have to move out again and move back in again because i made a bit of a mistake here because what i want here is self-sufficient uh, commercial zones to keep the traffic low in this area now what i want to do is start to expand out this way what i'm thinking guys is we're gonna have a university let's just draw this now so let's just uh, come here uh, university campus what i'm thinking is uh, a new campus area here and because of the potential communication problems i would probably draw in off of here I'm also thinking of a park out here. So what we got here, park area. I'm kind of thinking I haven't built a park yet. I'll just think about using this area here. I know, I know it's on the other side of the railway line, but I think we can do something with that. So we're going to have a park area here. Maybe push it out a little bit that way. And yeah, so because I want I want to kind of integrate this rock type area into here and just check the zoning. Yeah, so we got a little bit right on the edge of here. So five. The first thing we need to do to put a park zoning in. Where is it? Nature reserve. I'm, I'm kind of thinking uh, nature reserve main gate. So we've now got this here. And of course, and we got here side gate. Okay, we got some water here. I'm I'm not going to work too much on it. We got an academic report. So, what's actually happening at the moment is my university students are fluctuating up and down again. It seems to fluctuate from year to year. So we're just going to push out that like that. So we're just going to open up this area here. Maybe put in a few. Okay, let's put a, a couple of little paths in. Look out here. And we're going to go completely freestyle. Actually, just get over and down. Whoops. Oh. Actually, I don't know, an elevated park park here. I think we're going to leave it elevated. I think that'll look pretty cool so that people can actually have a look at the mountains. I'm just going to pop that in there. And we will just put a campfire there, what we got here. And I'm just going to put some tents around over here. Small campfire there. Knock in, mix in a, a few bigger tents, create a little bit of a camping site here. Yeah, I think that will work. Oops. Ah, some reason you're an awkward person. You you need a path or road. I'm not sure why, but. Solve that problem. You're gonna be awkward. You don't want to stay here. So we're just gonna let that grow up. Um, and eventually, maybe we will get 
have the park level grow. Then we get a few visitors come in. The commercial area here is now starting to pick up quite nicely. You've got shortage of workers. We've still got some trucks coming in to deliver here. Do I see traffic lights? Uh, yes, go away. Uh, I must admit, traffic. In, when it comes to things I hate about traffic, traffic lights come far higher than mini roundabouts. After roundabouts, this country has an obsession with traffic lights. You seem to meet them everywhere now. They just drive me to distraction, to be honest. Kind of half tempted. We can just keep sitting in this area in here like that. And we can just, just get a, a few parks in. Our population is sinking a little bit. And so let's just put a big park in there. That will get things running here. We've got a bit of a bandstand. That in there. And it's out on its own at the moment, so it won't have power, but it will connect up eventually. And I don't really want to put anything on this area here. Actually, what we can do is just have a quick check at the education level, uh, elementary. Yeah, let's just. One of the problems with curved roads is that you have a problem with putting uh, buildings on them, and like this. See, one of the downsides of um, oh yeah, that's another thing, guys. If I come over here. Now, if I remember, I was telling you about having problems with this area from an education point of view. And in the video I mentioned about it building up, you can see now that things have actually worked out quite well. And we've actually got a capacity issue with our university. So now it's time to lay in our new university area here. So let's just get this lined up. And wow. Going to put in this area here. I'm not going to have people living on the the boulevards here. I'm just going to no 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 and build uh, this area in like that. So you will concede. I'll uh, well, just I'll put some. Small low density on this road here, like that. Hopefully, it will not get too much of a traffic jam. And that should resolve this. Let's get back to laying out our new university. And enter. And of course, we're going to have roundabouts off of, of the clover leaf here because. We are following the great tradition of this country. I don't think we're going to get that much traffic up here, so I think a 160 will work. The idea is we're going to bring most of the, the students in with public transport. So we're just going to up like that. The 160, and of course we're going to upgrade it straight away to high by weight like that take off those there and the game's just gonna go with that like that I think we'll have the main campus buildings going off this way. Yeah, population's picking back up again. And again, I'm just going to do my normal. Actually, let's just do something slightly different. Very slightly different. And the roundabout's the wrong way round again. Yeah. Yeah, 
because sometimes the game gets a little bit of a strop with the way things are. Just hook out that. Okay, just nick off that. And that should be able to hook out like that. And I hook this through like that. And then two way roads like that or should I go for just normal roads? I think I'm just gonna go for normal roads. So we're just going to put this back on. Like that. And university education. What are we gonna go for? Let's just go for a prop wow, that's big. So let's go for a proper campus area here. And I think alongside we're just going to get some dormitories in. I mean there are only students, so we can put them next to the highway. Yeah, that's now lifting the spirits of this area. Got no power, so I'm just going to go just like that into there. We got no water, so we're going to have to come across like that. And my temptation is to probably leave that round about the way it is. Um, what's the other size of the other buildings here? Groundskeeper. We got here University Study Hall and a uh, Utsai Club. Bought the friendly practice matches. Okay. University Study Hall, University Dormitory. Okay, let's just. I put the road really close to the this double line here. You can then, you can probably get a study hall in there. Um, we can put that there, way up next to the highway. And what else we got here? Study hall, and we got school of law. Wow, I think the law school needs to be the other side of the road. I'm just going to come out like that and I think we're gonna have a, a parallel road like this uh, one two three like that you can hook into like that and just go slightly past hook in like that um, you can hook in like that so we've now got that area there and where's the yeah and then we can put the law school there and that's about what we can get in here at the moment you've got no water it's going to come out here i'm just going to come this way or 40 pop you out like that water's getting a bit low we're gonna have to keep an eye on that and what we can do is just go across like that into there and because I've just done a quite a major expansion here with this new university we're gonna have to put some uh, kind of metro system in as well so I'm just going to and I think well we could we get a road out through here. Nope. Yeah. That's annoying. Uh, I've penned myself in a little bit here, haven't I? Okay. Uh, okay. What we're going to have to do is lift this up. Put you over there. And I've broken the power lines here, but problem and then that means I can then 
uh, metro station there, another metro station there, and then you up to there and there, and grab you and drag you all the way up to here, and snuggle you through like that. And then that means that students wanted to come to this area can now flow into the city here. And you connect it up there. And just because even students don't want to live next to a metro station, just put a, a, some offices there. We'll call these the university admin buildings. So this is where the admin staff are going to work. Yeah, around the back here like this and that will spread the power a little bit and we can probably get in something quite small in this corner here anything that's that's the club what we got here study hall I mean, nothing would be great so that's building up quite nicely now I'm aware of the time guys and I don't want this video to be too long we've now got our university established okay guys now before I wind this video up I just want to talk about something which is going to be a future project that I am want to do and that is that I'm probably not going to do too many more parts in this series simply because I think we've explored the campus and I mean I could keep expanding out because I've got the I mean I could literally buy all these tiles around here and expand right out to 25 tiles but I'm not that happy with the map so what I'm thinking is that I want to start a new city but in order to do that city what I want to do is if I show you the monuments here actually all these monuments now are locked because I did because I bought a new computer I've reset all the the various um, uh, monument buildings also some of these now as you can see here, I haven't finished it because I haven't built three universities. I've actually got a sparkly unicorn rainbow park here. So what I'm thinking is that I'm going to start a new city on a new map. And I'm going to reset all the unique buildings, all the monuments. And what I want to do is go for a really large city. And what I'm going to be doing is unlocking all the various buildings as we go along. And the objective is to build a city probably maybe going for i think the largest city i've ever built is just over a quarter of a million so maybe i want to go more now because i've got the machine that can drive it because what killed it in the end with my previous attempt was was actually the the machine was stuttering up because it couldn't handle all the processing so what i want to do is really push the boundaries i'll do all the unlocks so we can talk about that and if for some reason i've got to do any of the scenarios I will wind those scenarios into the playthrough so there may be cases where i will break away from the main city and do a scenario so that's the project i'm, I'm thinking of doing before i do that what i want to do is wind up this city make complete this area get this start to get this university leveling up as i say we do now have the demand for universities we've got the capacity building back up again we've got high school elementary schools are picking up quite nicely so this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.